The new Boeing 747-8 is a massive machine, designed to take off at close to one million pounds. Through months of flight testing, the airplane has shown plenty of power on takeoff. But how would it handle all that energy if it had to suddenly stop? In the emergency event that we have to make a rejected takeoff at these heavy weights, it takes a long distance for the airplane to stop. It's just like in your car. Captain Kurt Vining and the Boeing test and evaluation team are about to put the airplane through the ultimate rejected takeoff, or RTO. First, the crew installs a set of 100% worn out brakes. So it's down to the stud. So if you ever have your own brakes, they've got a machine down so there's just basically no material left. Technicians also fuel the airplane up to maximum takeoff weight of just over 975,000 pounds. At the start of the runway, Captain Vining begins the takeoff roll as usual, pushing all four engines to maximum thrust. But just as the airplane is going at over 200 miles or 320 kilometers per hour, he slams on the brakes. To channel maximum energy to the carbon brakes, the pilot cannot use the thrust reversers. The whole intent is to demonstrate you, under worst conditions, you could safely stop the aircraft. The brakes, made by Goodrich, do exactly as they're supposed to. In fact, the 747-8 stops earlier than the team had hoped, beating the target by more than 700 feet or 200 meters. But stopping is just half the challenge. Now the airplane must prove it can withstand the tremendous heat that built up in the wheels estimated to be more than 1400 degrees Celsius. And it's a simple physics problem. We have to turn that kinetic energy into heat in the brakes. As expected, smoke pours out from the brakes as they glow a bright orange. Still, the firefighters who are standing by can't do anything but watch for the next five minutes. And that's to simulate that if you were at an airport, you had an RTO, you wouldn't necessarily have the fire department right there. So you demonstrate that it, worst case would be five minute response time for a fire department to get to the airplane. By design, special fuse plugs in the tires are activated, deflating the tires before they explode. Finally, at the five minute mark, firefighters move in with plenty of water. While the tires and brakes will have to be replaced, the rest of the airplane is perfectly fine. No sweat, even for the flight test engineers who were on board. It went amazing. The decel rate was exactly what we expected. Great stopping, no major faults. Slamming on the brakes so the new 747-8 can continue moving towards certification and delivery.